In Benzert, these farmers have their own way of trying to fight the drought that has plagued this northern region. For example, Siwara Nefer took a course in permaculture. After cleaning around our car plants, we pulled mulch. The straw helps stop the evaporation of water, and so a maximum amount of water remains for the plant. The carob tree is hardy, easy to grow, and uses little water. Like any tree, it needs water for its first two years of growth, and then afterwards. It's very self-sufficient, it's strong, it resists drought. The Les Amis de la Capt Association want to help optimize farming practices. They support and supply carob seeds to professionals like Maha. Some have found the crop to be surprisingly lucrative. Before, where there was a lot of rain, people planted popular trees that grew quickly. There was no demand for organic. But now, things have totally changed. Carobs are now in demand as sugar substitute. It's not only a sugar substitute. In 2019, Maha opened a workshop in the city of Jinduba to process carob seeds. The first separation doesn't give us 100% grains like our clients want. That's why we do manual separation like Mrs. Wasile is doing now. Maha and her employees then crush, roast and grind the carob to make different products for the local and international market. Powder, syrup, molasses and even flour. The carob has lots of benefits. It's rich in fiber, micronutrients and protein. And here the waste which isn't for human consumption, we use for animal feed. There's also big demand for carob gum from the cosmetic sector, a promising indicator of the growth potential of carob seed derivatives on the international market.